This is Steve Pistillo from P2 Automation. In the next few videos, I'm going to show you how we use CRM to track cases or issues for our customers. In a prior video, I showed you the case management dashboard down here in the lower right. And this is showing us right now all the cases we have that are in development or that we're working on right now. If I want to add a new case to this list, I simply click on New Case. and then fill in the boxes. So let's say this is a restore SharePoint document library. I can pick the customer. And then optionally I can pick a subject if I want. So this is SharePoint and this helps me later if I want to look for information about a case that I've already worked on or an issue I've already worked on. If I want to put the origin, let's say they called, type the case, this is an issue. That's a custom field here at C, uh, P2 Automation. And then the stage. I'm going to say this is an approved case. So these are all the stages we set up. Again, it's a custom field here. and then I'll save it. Basic case. Now if I want to add some activities about the case, let's say I want to have somebody work on the case, I can create an activity. And I need them to restore the SharePoint library need to call Microsoft. And I can assign it to somebody. I'll come back, save and close the case. And it won't show up on the list because it's not in development. But if I click on my approved cases, it'll show up right here. If you'd like more information about how to track cases for your organization, contact us at p2automation.com.